this video, we're going to discuss cardinality. Another way to compare sets is by their size. The size of a set is called the set's cardinality. We could write, for example, that the size of A is 6, the size of B is 3, for example, and so on to mean that A has 6 elements and B has 3 elements. For sets that have a finite number of elements, the cardinality of the set is simply the number of elements in the set. Note that the cardinality of, for example, 1, 2, 3, 2, 1 is 3. The size of this set is 3. We do not count repeats. In fact, 1, 2, 3, 2, 1 is the same as the size. It's exactly actually the same set as the set 1, 2, 3. Those two sets are the exact same sets. Hey everyone, real quick, I just wanna mention that this video is a part of a whole course that I made. You can find a link to this entire course in the description below and make sure to click on that subscribe button. There are sets with infinite cardinality, such as n, number of natural numbers. The set of rational numbers is another one, q, which is all the set of fractions. The set of even natural numbers and the set of real numbers, which by the way, we'll denote as r. r is the set of real numbers. It is possible to distinguish between different infinite cardinalities, but that is well beyond the scope of this course. For us, a set will either be infinite or finite. If it is finite, the way we can determine its cardinality is by counting elements. Let's do an example together. Let's find the cardinality of the set A, which is 23, 24, all the way up to 38. For number one, we can't quite just do 38 minus 23. The reason for that is this is, let's see here, um, 15. I can do math. Don't worry. I can do math. But that's actually not the cardinality of the set. The cardinality is actually 16. And let me explain why. When you do differences like this, like three, or let's do two, three, four, five. In this case, if you do five minus two, you get three. But that's the distance. That's not the number of ticks here and if this is a difference between measuring distances and ticks in on like a you know if I have a number line right here and I'm measuring and this is my ruler we would say the measurement is four if that's my ruler right there this measurement the measurement of that would be four of these but the number of ticks is one two three four five here and so the number of tick marks is different from the size or the length of that set and so in this case we actually have to increment up by one to make sure that we actually count all the elements. And I can show you that the answer is in fact 16. Let's do it together. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. And so just make sure you count one more if you do the difference there. For number two, in this instance, it's really tempting to say that the set is like, has a size has a cardinality of either four or five, but the answer is that the set the size of B is three. And the reason is because each element is separated by a comma. So that's an element in my collection. That whole thing is an element in my collection, and that's an element in my collection. And so because of that, there are only three elements. And now, yes, those elements are have them have elements themselves, but we're not counting the elements of those elements, we're counting elements of the set B, which is slightly different. For this, uh, for number three, if C is one, two, three, what is the cardinality of the power set of C? Well, let's figure out what the power set is. The power set of C, this is the set of all subsets of C. So we can have the empty set, that's a subset of C. We could do just one. We could do just two, we could do three, we could do one, two, we could do one, three, we could do two, three, and then we could do the entire set, one, two, three. That's a subset of C as well. So how many elements do we have here? Well, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the size of the power set of C is eight. Anyways, thanks everyone, and I'll see you in the next lecture.